What's going on everybody? You get the raging Rob here. I'm back at my motel here in Phoenix, Arizona. Got a TV. I'm back in Phoenix. The immigration raids have started. So far 20 people, 20 people are arrested in San Diego. I want to give a good shout out to my good boys at ICE for doing a good job arresting 20 illegal dangerous people in San Diego. Now they said that 2,000 people are being targeted. Donald Trump got on TV and said it's mostly criminals and, uh, and, and very violent people that are being targeted. It's not like, you know, just anybody average. I mean, you know, but if you step over the line illegally, which is like 12 million illegals in this country, then you have risk of getting deported anyway, okay? So my thoughts, I'm fully supporting uh, ICE roundups today. Keep the good work up. 20 arrested in San Diego. Hopefully there's, uh, they, they said that 10 major cities are targeted. Uh, hopefully, hopefully there's 2,000 illegal immigrants in every major city uh, rounded up. Uh, hopefully they round up all 12 million and get them out of here that are illegally here. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping to see a mass deportation, uh, you know, put them on trains and get them out of here. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, if you are an illegal immigrant in the United States and you see this video, I got some legal advice for you. Okay. Legal advice. They're telling you, they're telling you that you have rights. You have the right to talk to an attorney. You have the, you don't have to open the door. They need a warrant. Uh, yeah, here's my advice. You're illegally in the country. You have no rights. Get the fuck out. Go ahead and close the door and don't open it. We're gonna fucking knock it down. Okay, they're gonna knock it down. Uh, talk, get get one phone call to a lawyer. Uh, yeah, here's your advice. Hello, lawyer. Hey, here's some legal advice. Get the fuck out. There, there, there you go. There's my uh, one. There's your one phone call. You ain't gonna get a phone call. Okay, you're gonna get out. You came here illegally. You get out. I just got back from the Philippines. You know what I had to do? I had to go there legally. I had to talk to an immigration officer and tell him, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in your country, I'm going on vacation. He asked me how long you're gonna be, about a week. I'm going on vacation in your country. Now he could have denied me. It's his house. I go to somebody else's house. I'm a visitor. They invite me in, I go there. You don't, you don't break into somebody's house and then spend a the night there and be like, okay. And if you kick me out, guess what? Shame on you. That's basically what they're doing. Breaking into somebody's house, living there. Well, you can't kick me out. Bullshit. When I invite somebody over to my house, well, I don't have a house, I have a truck, but you know, when I invite somebody over, when I did have a house, I want to know who this person is, right? That's common sense. It's like, you know, when I went to the Philippines, hey, can I come over? Sure, I had to talk to an, a Philippine immigration officer. They checked me out, see who I was, you know. Okay, stamp my thing, have a nice vacation. When I came back to the United States, I had to talk to an immigration officer to get back in the country. They want to know who I am. Oh, you're, you're a U.S. citizen. Where did you go? I had, you know, answer a bunch of questions. Where did you go? I went to the Philippines. Are you bringing back any food? No. Did you see anybody, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, are you declaring anything? Oh, I bought a t-shirt and a pair of blue jeans, but blue jean shorts, but you know, I came here legally. I didn't sneak back in and break into my own house. The United States is my house, right? When you come here to visit, you come here legally. We want to know who you are, okay? If you want to live here, if you want to work here. Well, now seeking asylum and illegal immigration are two different things. If you're escaping a war-torn country and you fear for your life or whatever, you have the right to you know, seek asylum and that's where you go to the detention camp and we find out who you are. We stay in a detention camp for a little bit. Well, we treat you. We give you a shower. We get your food. We clean you up, whatever. And, you know, hopefully we find your work. So all this horror stories about the detention camps, it's fucking bullshit, okay? Hey, we had showers for 40, 
40 days. They're making it sound like it's a concentration camp. Bullshit. This shit's been going on when Obama was president. You're only hearing it accelerated now because Trump is president. Well, separation from the kids. We got to find out who these people are coming into our country. It's common sense. Okay? You want to come here for work? It's a process. You gotta, you gotta come here for a process. There's some fucking dumbass farmer in Minnesota saying, "Well, I need these immigrants. This is gonna shut this town down." Well, guess what? If the if roundup illegal immigrants would shut that town down in Minnesota, and it's gonna kill the town, well, guess what? You better start saying your fucking prayers then. Alright, that's my thoughts. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Immigration raids, keep up the good work. Well, you don't have to answer the door. Good, we'll kick it down. We'll kick it down. Come on! That's it.